really physical 28-21 grinded out win for Harvard football. The Crimson takes solo first place in the Ivy League, now 5-0 in the conference, ahead of both Penn and Princeton by one game. With Ken Dunnick, I'm Bill Spaulding. Thanks for joining us on One World Sports. Ken, it was not easy for Harvard. They were behind at halftime. They capitalized on some turnovers in the third quarter to make the difference. Yeah, we talked about the Columbia defense. We thought it was good coming in. We're sure of it now. Harvard had a much tougher time than it anticipated. Pretty good ball game today. Let's take a look at the highlights from this game. Harvard, again, started very slow on offense. There wasn't anything until late in the first quarter when the Crimson found Adam Scott. Columbia would answer. Here's a great touchdown pass to Ronald Smith. Yeah, Ronald Smith coming off a two touchdown performance last week. Grabs on early for Columbia. Harvard down 14-7 at halftime, but in the second half off Columbia turnovers got things going. Charlie Booker with the rushing touchdown. And then Joe Viviano, a deep pass to set up a Harvard touchdown. The very next play, they'd find Anthony Ferkser. Yeah, Ferkser, big time tight end. You can see him waltz into the end zone there. Easy score for Harvard. That made it 21 all. And then after another turnover, very first play after the turnover, Adam Scott open. He scores his second touchdown of the day off the screen. Turns out the Jets there for sure, doesn't it? Columbia made it interesting with a late touchdown. Skyler Morningwig found Josh Wainwright, but late in the game, the final play, a heave-ho, Tanner Lee, the interception, and Harvard hangs on to win it, 28-21. The Crimson moved to 7-1 and overall, and 5-0 and in the Ivy League. Next week on One World Sports, we'll have a great Ivy League matchup between Brown and Dartmouth. That is at noon. Today, Harvard beats Columbia 28-21.